Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Sarah and I am thrilled to share with you today how to create a Facebook business page like a pro. We're also gonna talk about why having a Facebook business page is an essential step for your company's success. As a business owner, it's important to establish a strong online presence. And this includes being on social media, especially when you're just starting out. Even if you don't use Facebook personally, it's still important to have a Facebook business page for your company. When people search for your company on Google, your Facebook page will likely show up in the search results. This is because Facebook has been around for a really long time, about a decade or so, and it has a high domain authority, which means that Google sees it as a trustworthy source of information. Having a Facebook page also provides potential customers with a lot of relevant information about your company. You can showcase your products or services, have post updates, promotions, and get reviews from happy customers. So now that you know why having a Facebook business page is important, let's get started with the tutorial, setting up your Facebook business page. So you'll need to start with your personal profile. So if you don't have a personal Facebook account, you will have to set this up first. It's highly recommended to not create an alias. Sometimes people want to do that. But if you create an alias, then you aren't gonna have any friends to invite to that company business page. That's why I would recommend not creating an alias page and starting with your actual personal Facebook profile. Once you're logged in, the first thing you need to do is go to the pages section of Facebook. So over on the left-hand side here, I can see pages and I'm gonna click on that. So right here you see create a new page. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And now you can see that you are going to need to put in a page name. So I would suggest just going with your business name. Okay, so that's the name of my company. The category is going to be insurance. You can choose whatever fits best for your specific situation. I am going to choose insurance company. It's also a really good idea to put in a bio. You're really going to want to make sure you take the time to write a good bio description about your company. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to shorten it up here and skip that for now. But I would recommend that you go back and make sure you have the right content in this description box. It is searchable by Google. So you want to make sure that it sounds professional and really tells the audience about your company. So we're gonna go ahead and hit create page. All right, now you can see in this little notification that um, we can go ahead and start creating this page. If you're a new business owner, you probably don't have a website going yet and you can just skip this these steps for now, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and enter ours in. So enter your phone number without dashes and go ahead and put a one in front of it. Now you're gonna wanna also add an email. I would recommend putting a business email inside of this area, okay, and the location. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the location as well. Perfect, now we'll hit next. Step two, set up a profile picture and a banner image. Most businesses will use their logos for the profile picture, and the cover picture is usually an indicator of what the business has to offer. So you may wanna think about that when creating those assets for your Facebook business page. The next step is to create a profile picture and a cover photo. Now, remember I said earlier that we wanted to make sure our cover photo relates to our business and that we have our profile picture probably as our logo. Now, that's just my opinion, but it's up to you as long as it's something relevant to the company. I already have a logo set up, so I'm gonna just navigate to where my logo is saved. Perfect, and now you can see that that fits really well in the circle area for my logo. Now we're ready to add a cover photo and you do have to make sure that you size your cover photo properly. You wanna make sure you've got your page set up before you start asking people to like your page. So I'm gonna take you over to canva.com and we're gonna create a free banner to get you started so that you can have something in there. And I do have a pro account, but you can sign up for a free account and you'll still get access to a lot of the templates. There are many paid templates, but there are a lot of good free templates too on here that you can start with. So you'll want your Facebook cover photo to be in a 16 by nine ratio. 
they actually have a template for that set up on Canva. Now I am going to just kind of scroll through and you can pick a template that you like and then you can customize it. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one here. Now it does look like this is a pro template, so that's up to you. Otherwise, there are plenty of free templates out there for you to choose from. So I'm just gonna start with this one and we'll create a simple template off of that. We're not gonna walk through the process of designing a Facebook cover photo, um, but you get the idea here. So now we're gonna hop back over to Facebook and we're gonna upload a cover photo. Now that I've got a profile photo, which is the circle or square image, and now we're gonna add an action. So an action is basically like a call to action. So what do you want your clients or customers to do when they visit your page? Do you want them to contact you? Do you want them to shop for services? You know, what's the next step for them? So we have to tell them what we want our audience to do. So we're gonna click add action and looks like there are many choices to choose from. So it's up to you what you would like to happen. But I think for us, we're gonna do contact us with our opens a website contact info. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. I will add our website link. And now we have a contact us button added to our page. So let's hit next. All right, so then it looks like the next step is to connect a WhatsApp to your page. If you want to connect your phone number to your Facebook account, you will need to go ahead and set this up as well. Um, I don't have a WhatsApp account, so I'm just going to skip this step for now. Um, it's saying to invite your friends next, but I would highly recommend skipping this part for now until we get everything set up. And I would like to also see, you know, a first post before you start inviting people. Step four, you can choose your notification settings, whether or not you want to receive these when someone interacts with your page, such as like, if somebody leaves a like or a comment on a post, you can adjust all those specific settings. So here's where you choose whether or not you want to see notifications. And you can also go into more settings later on to get more detailed on which notifications you would like to receive and how you would like to receive those notifications. Page notifications on your profile. I'm gonna leave that on, but I'm going to turn the marketing and promotional emails off for right now. And then go ahead and hit done. Step five. Add your page information. This is the most important thing that you can do while setting up your Facebook page is, you know, filling out that company information to its fullest. So the next step is to come over here to this edit page and we're going to continue editing our profile. We can add any other social links that we want to. So I'll probably add in my Google links, uh, which I would definitely highly recommend getting your company on Google Business as well. You can add any information about the company. If you have hours, I would highly uh, recommend adding those hours. So if you click that, you get a few options here and I'm gonna choose open on selected hours. So Monday, we open at 8 a.m. and we close at 5 p.m. And then we'll go ahead and hit save. Then you wanna add services. If you're an insurance agent and you're working from home, I would highly recommend not putting your home address on your Facebook business page. So you could add a service area by clicking here and then we could just say servicing Colorado Springs and the surrounding area and hit save fullest. You'll wanna make sure that you add your company's name, address, phone numbers, hours, services, and any other relevant contact information. Um, this will help customers find you and be able to contact you easily. Okay, the next thing we want to do is add a username. Over now, we're going to hit settings over here on the left-hand side. And then you can see the name of your page and the username. We didn't set that up, so we're going to go ahead and click edit and add that. So we're going to try to think of something clever that goes along with our business name. We're going to do ICA insurance agents, actually. Now we have a easy way to be able to share our username. So it's just not a bunch of numbers. It's memorable. So I would just copy this URL and then you could share that with your friends and family to have them look at your new page. Step six, invite friends and start posting. So finally, you can invite your friends to like your page and start posting updates, promotions, and other content to promote your business. 
You can also encourage your customers to leave reviews on your page to build trust and credibility. And voila, now we have a Facebook business page. So we can take a tour if we would like. This will go through all the different areas of where you can modify and edit your page. So you can easily switch between your page and your profile. So whether you want to interact as you know your personal profile or interact with people's posts, you know, by liking or commenting as your company page. So you can do that up here. Next, um, quickly get stuff done. This is how you manage top forming content, create ads, and explore tools to manage your page. And then the home button up here to explore your page's feed. Now it looks like we have a page started. Whether you're just starting out or you have been in business for a while, having a Facebook business page is essential in today's digital age. Not only does it provide a platform for you to promote your business, but it also helps you establish a strong online presence and build trust with your customers. By following these simple steps, you can create a professional and engaging page that will help you connect with your customers and promote your business. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the like button so others can find this video too. Thank you. We'll see you next time.